Hello, runners. This is Matt Fitzgerald for Competitor.com, and this is another Competitor Q&A. Here with me is a multiple national champion in cross country and other events, Dathan Ritzenhine. Uh, Dathan, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Matt. Um, thanks for having me here. It's great to be out here at the uh, U.S. Nationals in Eugene. All right. Uh, so the first question I'd like to ask you is that it seems like this is a bit of a transitional point in your career. Uh, you've recently changed coaches. Uh, and uh, is it fair to say that, that you sort of at 26 years old have reached sort of a new beginning? Yeah, you know, I, I think for the past few years I've just kind of been doing my own thing, and uh, it's kind of feel like I was plateauing a little bit. I wasn't quite getting the games that I had had I wanted to and and so I, I mean I had a lot of success with uh, my coach before and Brad Hudson and and he uh, definitely taught uh, taught me a lot and, and took me in, the, in a good direction but I felt like I was lacking some of the some of the faster components that that I had had earlier on in my career and so I really wanted to make that change while I was 26 while I was still young enough to adapt to that change and and be my best when you know three years down the road that's really my peak of my career. And uh, who is your new coach? You've announced that today. Yeah, the, we announced at the press conference I'm going to be working with Alberto Salazar up at Nike, and so uh, it'll be it'll be great. I think uh, you know Galen and me will be top two guys in the in the country this year, and Tim Nelson he's trains up there with Jerry too. So get the best three guys in the country from 10K uh, will be working together, and Alberto's just he's been on fire, and, and uh, I've had a long-standing relationship, I guess, for the past four years or so with Alberto as a um, someone who would help us out with uh, with problems that arise in training and injuries, things like that, and he's always been right there, ready for us, to, uh, ready to help us. So um, it was a natural natural progression for me. And at this point, where are you looking to take your career next? Uh, you know, at, at this point, you know, I my passion is still the marathon, and I love the marathon, and I think that that's my my event and what I want, what I really want to excel at the most. But uh, in the short term, I'm going to kind of take a step back from it and work on some speed. Um, try to get my 5k 10k PRs down over the next uh some this summer and next summer and and I you know really I, I think I'd love to spend the next winter really attacking cross country and maybe trying to uh trying to get really good at world cross because I think that that's something that I've always been really good at and I love to do and then you know when I feel like I've gotten back down to the 13 minute 27 minute range then I can go back to the marathon and and really be ready for 206. Now, uh, you set a PR of 210 flat in London in April, but I know that was a relative disappointment for you. You believed that you could run faster. Uh, have you figured out sort of what went wrong in that event and maybe what's been holding you back more generally from running as fast as you feel you can run at that distance? Yeah, for me, uh, it was a big disappointment at London because uh, the way the training had gone for me and coming off Beijing, Beijing, I thought that I had gotten myself into position where I was, I, I really, I was very fit and I ran well. Uh, I had some cramping problems, but but I, I had taken the next step, and uh, and so London, we we just wanted to really uh, push the envelope a little bit, and uh, I didn't quite get the the benefit out of the training. Um, I did initially. We we did some really really intense stuff, but uh, I think I lacked some of the strength uh, to stay healthy and and suffered with some injuries, snagging injuries over the the last five weeks. And that really hindered my training a little bit. And uh, between that and another problem with electrolyte imbalance, again, uh, and I've been working with a nutritionist to try to figure that out as well, um, to try to you know get the get the right uh, ratios for for the drinks that I've been taking in in the marathon. And and so if the marathon in, in London would have been five weeks earlier, I thought that I was really ready for for two o six type pace but uh i kind of fizzled out and and so that's why that was one of the reasons for the change I, I know that i'm capable of getting there but i just need to work on the things to actually stay there right. and uh i'm happy to announce uh, to those who are, are not aware of it that you're going to be blogging for competitor.com and i'm interested to know if that's part of this new beginning for you as well i noticed that after your race last night you were more exuberant, interacting with uh, the fans uh, more than we're accustomed to seeing. Uh, are you sort of looking to, to reach out more and, and be sort sort of more interactive with your fan base? Yeah, you know, I'm excited about the blog because uh, I did this a little bit for Flow Track, um, and it, it was you know it was it was at a time when I wasn't really wasn't comfortable with it. Still, I wanted to uh, keep a little bit more of a private side, but to tell you the truth, I. I started kind of getting onto the social network stuff, Twitter and stuff like that, and and uh, I wanted to kind of 
you know, have people be able to see what I'm doing because I think that if, if I can if I can show them what I'm doing, they're going to be interested in it, and that's going to help the sport of, uh, of track and field and distance running. And, you know, when people are interested in, in wanting to find that uh, in a, a place that's resourceful like that in one website coming straight from the athlete's mouth, then then uh, that's only gonna that's only gonna help the sport, and so uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it, and and I think that uh, the, the this blog will be a, a way for people to kind of see uh, see Dathan Ritzheim that they don't really see uh, in these normal interviews on paper. Well, it's something that I know uh, we look forward to seeing what you have to say, and we also very much look forward to uh, the exciting racing that you're going to do in the future. Thanks for spending time with us, Dathan. Thanks, Matt. This is Matt Fitzgerald for Competitor.com. Come back soon for another Competitor Q&A.